Welcome back to Stardew Valley, everybody. It is the third day of winter. You know, I was just wondering how I'm going to make money in winter time. Should be interesting to figure that out. Ooh, there's a Queen of Sauce rerun. Oh, uh, let's see. Corn tortillas. We already know how to cook a tortilla. Tell me something I don't know. Do we care about the weather report? I don't know if we do. Do we care about the fortune teller? I don't know if we do care about those things. Let's go outside. It is a beautiful snowy day. I love it. Let us go up and give our dog some pets. Pet, pet, pet. Here's some water. Oh, well, I just fight with your bowl. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff here. We got some cranberries. And yeah, let's go ahead and make some delicious blackberry and um, some some sap jelly. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what else do I have that I could throw in there? Uh, I don't think I have anything else on me unless I could make some seaweed jelly. What do you think? Seaweed jelly? No, I don't want to eat the seaweed. So I guess we can't make seaweed jelly. That's too bad. Seaweed. Huh. Alright, seaweed. I guess I could, like, just start selling this stuff, although I'm thinking about bringing my albacore in the house and putting it in the fridge, but... And then the Nautilus shell, well, we know that we want that in the community center. Um, what else? Well, mayonnaise. I'll grab the mayonnaise here. Let's go in here and grab some eggs. So we need to make sure that these guys have, um enough hay. They're not very happy. Maybe they don't like winter time or something. Because they're just looking fine. They're not happy. But we'll make sure that they have enough hay. So I'll drop some hay there. Get that mayonnaise machine working again. Ugh. Grab an egg. And then, um, I guess we'll go say hi to our cow. I don't know how long it takes before the cow is no longer a baby. Zorti Zortino looks fine. Okay, well that's good to see. Alright. Close the doors. Don't have to worry about watering anything, which is super duper nice. Let's see what we want to sell so we can make some money. Uh, mayonnaise... Coral, sea urchin, more coral. We'll sell these winter roots. Um, I don't know if we need that. I am going to keep the gold ore and the stone and the sap. We'll sell that stuff. Uh, the scapula we're going to bring to what's his face one of these days. And the snow yam. Man, I can't remember whether I put that in the um, community center or not. And I don't think this. Oh, it does tell me. Okay. So I'd be interested in the winter bundle, right? Winter foraging bundle. Okay, we already have the snow yam. Okay, so I could sell the snow yam. So we'll go ahead and sell that. And um, we have a couple prehistoric things here. I don't know if I need to keep these things or not. But I really, I really don't want to take time uh, managing inventory. That's that's boring. Nobody wants to watch that. So. Um, let me just dump this stuff off, and then we'll hit the road. I, I think we're just going to go into the mines. I think that's what I want to do. Um, use our new Templar's Blade. Very exciting stuff here. And let's see, what can I dump off here? Wait a minute, I need to go into here. We're going to dump off gold ore and the sap and the stone and the bat wings. We'll put this away for now. Put the bait away for now. And um, maybe we'll stop by the uh, community center on our way over to the mines. We could do that. I don't need my watering can in the mines, right? And we'll just drop some more stuff off here. Drop these off for now. And then I'll grab uh, these things. These, are, these will be nice for if we find ourselves um, needing some energy in the mines and then I'll just take this thing with me too just in case we run into a situation like we did last time so I've got my blade and um, this crystal dagger for some reason I'm hanging on to I don't really know why 
But let's run over to the community center and drop off this Nautilus shell. And then we will run on over to um, the mines and do some mining today. It's a good day for mining, I feel like. Spirits are happy. Oh, there's footsteps here. Oh, I do leave footprints. Look at this. Are those my footprints? I don't think those are my footprints. I'm thinking that this is a hint. Okay, hold on. I'll come back to those here in a moment. I want to go do this before I forget. I get all distracted. So, what I want to do is drop off this Nautilus shell. Um, Nautilus shell goes in... Is it one of the fish tank things? No. Oh man, I need to get a clam. Where does the Nautilus shell go? It doesn't go into there. Geologist? No. Of course a blacksmith wouldn't want that. What am I thinking? This is just money. Fodder, enchanter. Field research. I can't put it in there. On the bulletin board. Okay. Coming through. You better move, because I'm quick. I can't remember where I was. Field research. There we go. Well, now all I need is a chub, and we know we can get a chub, so... It won't be long before we fulfill that request. That's going to be exciting, right? All right, let's go back out here and follow these foot footprints that we saw. See, look at these. Huh. Okay. Oh, there he is! There he is! <laughs> Shadow guy. Eep, you caught me! I'm sorry. Take it, take it. It looked so valuable, I couldn't help myself. No way, I can't believe we found him that quick. Okay, so we're going to take something from him. Don't know what it is. You received the magnifying glass. You now have the ability to find secret notes. These notes reveal rare and useful information and can be reviewed in your collections tab. Oh, neat. There he goes. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Um, all right. Magnifying glass. Oh, it doesn't show up in here, so it's just something. And then the collections tab, I really haven't bothered to look at. Achievements, cooking, minerals, artifacts, fish, and items shipped. So I don't know where these messages are going to be. Maybe when I find one, a new tab will show up? I don't know. Let's go over here and dig up these wormies. Get some copper ore. A crocus. A crocus. You know, I do believe a crocus was one of the things in my list. Where did I see crocus? For some reason, I remember seeing the word crocus written down, but heck if I remember where. I, I'm not seeing it on my list at quick glance, so not really sure why. Oh, crocus is something. It's one of the winter foraging things. Well, let's go back into the community center, and we'll just drop that off real quick. Winter foraging. Is that on the bulletin board? No, it's not. Here we go. Where's winter foraging? Not in there. Crafts room. Which room is the crafts room? I think it's this one over here to the left. This one that's furthest away. Drop off our crocus. Not getting a lot of mining done. It's almost noon for crying out loud. Crocus. Now, I'm, now all I need is a crystal fruit, and I'm pretty sure I've seen one of those before. Man, I feel like I've wasted a lot of time, and I really haven't done all that much stuff, you know? I really wanted to do some mining today. I mean, I'm still going to, but I don't feel like it's the best use of my time. And who knows what else I'll run into that'll distract me on my way up here. Wow, I really like how the other house decorated. It's nice. Oh, there's Linus by the fire. Can't wait to get in here and find out what I'm forgetting. I just remembered what I'm forgetting. <laughs> and I remembered... Uh, I remembered what I said I was going to do with this at this episode. I need to go back to... Clint, and I need to get my um, pickaxe 
Because you don't want to go into the mines with the pickaxe. I hate that I'm wasting this good mining day. Just feel like today would be a good mining day because the spirits are happy. And I think I've noticed a difference when the spirits are happy. Uh, as to like what kind of things I get in the mines. I could be wrong, but it seems like I get better stuff. But it's, it's looking more and more like, golly man, we have to go way down here. It's looking more and more like I'm not really going to get an opportunity to do any mining today. Because I'm running around so freaking much. But, oh well. Such is life in Stardew Valley. If I would have known I was going to come down here, if I would have remembered, I would have brought the stuff for Gunther. But I can't seem to keep things straight. Give me my freaking pickaxe, man. Jerk. <laughs> taken my steel pickaxe from me for that long. Well, shoot. It's already 2 o'clock. Man. By the time I go up here... I saw the crocus down there. By the time I go up here and get into the mines... I still don't know what's going on there. The day's going to be more than half over. And I wanted to do some night fishing to see if I could catch a... a squid, but we could, we could do that tomorrow, I guess. Oh, hey, Maru, what's up? I guess winter is a good time to work on my gadgets. I wonder if I could make anything useful for farmers. I wonder if you could. Um, I don't have any gems. Do you think she'd like copper ore? <laughs> Yuck, you thought I would like this? Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of like a rock. I thought she'd like it. <sighs> All right. I thought she'd like it. I thought it was right up her alley. I mean, it's not quite a gem, but it's a rock. Right? Copper ore? Come on. It's awesome. I'd like to get some copper ore. I think it would be neat. Well, now more than half the day is gone. Well, let's see if I could at least make it down to level 70 enough so I could feel like I accomplished something. Um... Is this one of those levels that I have to fight everything before I can find the way down? I don't know. I may not find my way down to level 70 before this day is over. Where's my pickaxe? I need to reorganize my stuff here. Yeah, one hit and you're dead. Nice. I'd like to get a weapon one hit and you're dead. Ugh. Oh man, show me the way down. Well, it's nice to break these things with one hit, but um, I'm finding the way down, which is frustrating. So, We'll just hammer on things. Oh, good grief. Where's the way down? Yep. Just hitting stuff. Hoping to find the way down. Finally found the way down. Oh, goody, a ghost. Go away, ghost. <laughs> It cracks me up every freaking time. Ooh, secret note number two? Okay. It's old and crumpled, but if you look closely, you can make out the details. Where? Where do I see the notes? Um... It said I would see it on my collections tab. But I don't see anything. What are you talking about? Um. Okay, well. I guess one of you guys are going to have to explain this to me. Because I don't understand what it means by you'll see it on your collections tab. Because I don't see crap, man. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm kind of annoyed, really. 
This is the collections tab. That's what it said. If you look closely, you can make out the details. Well, all right. Uh, I don't know. I have to look that up. Ooh. Oh, a lead rod. Great. Didn't I just sell one of those? Oh, another note. Yay. I should be excited about that. Let me see if there's anything good down here. No, there's not. I might as well take these things out since I'm here. Alright. Level 67. Huh. Some music. Go away, man. I have some mining to do. What's this purple stuff? Some amethysts. It's pretty cool. Um. Okay, there's some quartz over here. Nice. There's some uh, iron ore over here. Cool. Anything else cool on this level? Ooh. Got this spooge on me. Dwarf scroll three. Hit it, dude. Man, this guy's coming to greet us. He's excited to see us. sound effects. More iron ore. Still haven't found the way down. Man, we are, we are really, really moving slow here in the lower levels of this freaking dungeon, man. There we go. 68. I don't think I'm going to make it to 70. I don't think I am. Because uh, it's going to take us a while to get out of here. This purple rock. Topaz. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Go away, Bat. You're just a nuisance. Oh, this is a huge level. Gee whiz. When I first came down to this level, I, th I thought it looked really small. But it is not. What is this? Shade. Okay. Oh, here's one of these things, whatever the heck this is. Got a bunch of um, coal in it. Okay. Did I, is this like a big circle? No? Have I been over here? Yeah, this is where we came in. Okay. Here comes a bat. I see you up there, bat. I see you. That bat can fly through walls. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. The cave doesn't go anywhere. It's just a big tease. Hmm, there's some interesting looking stuff over here. Copper ore. Go away. Can't you see I'm busy? Well, at least there's a lot of ore on this level. But, again, haven't found the way down, and it's already 11 o'clock, so we're simply not going to make it to level 70 this, this adventure, sadly. That is a real bummer, man. That is a real bummer. But, you know, we got a bunch of ore, so that's pretty cool. Alright, let's get out of here. We gotta get home before it's too dark. I love this glowy ring I've got. I love that it lights up the area around me. I like it a lot. Yes, I know it's getting late. Here's some worms, though. Priorities. Oh, another book. Man, we need to go to the library. Museum or whatever. Check out their books. 
Oh, a, oh, okay. Well, that was weird. We just kind of like got that out of the blue. Another book. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I found a book. What the heck? I'm just like randomly getting snow yams just from hitting the ground. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Hmm. All right. Uh, I haven't gotten my um, mushrooms in a while. Might as well grab these. Otherwise, they'll just go to waste, right? I know it's one o'clock in the morning. It's okay. Mayonnaise. Um... I guess I put my other egg away. Let's dump some stuff off to sell for tomorrow. I want to sell... I'm going to hang on to quartz. I just kind of want to hang on to a lot of these things. Mayonnaise. Sell these mushrooms. These apparently are easy to get. Um, and winter root. I don't think I need to be keeping these anymore, right? And this other stuff, okay. Alrighty. Oh man, I forgot to put something else in there. And I don't think I have anything else out here. Well, I got some grapes. So let me swap this stuff around and we'll go ahead and put this thing to work on grapes. We gotta keep that stuff working, you know? That's how we're gonna make our money here in the winter time. All right, let's go to sleep for the night. Day three of winter is complete. Oh man, we're actually making a fair amount of money on this day. Wow, a lot more than I thought. That's pretty cool. We didn't get to do any squid fishing though. So today's a nice sunny day. Living off the land. Wondering how to get your hands on refined quartz? Yeah, I am. Just put a regular old quartz in the furnace. Uh, you'll need a lump of coal to fuel the fire. Oh, okay. There you go. That's how you make um, refined quartz. Neutral. All right. Well, that's kind of interesting, right? Uh, let's go ahead and make some refined quartz. I don't remember what I need it for, but um, I've got the ingredients here, so... Sure, why not? And we'll just make some copper, too. Why not? Let's grab this. And um, we'll make some amaranth something, whatever the heck amaranth is. What is amaranth? I mean, I know it's a vegetable, at least according to the game. No, I don't want to eat the amaranth. Hi, Pepper. Oh, I don't have my watering can with me. Uh, let's grab that. And we'll put the coal away and the slime and um, the aquamarine and the iron ore, copper, uh, what else can I put away? Stone and um, sap. I think that's all I've got that'll go in here. I'm just putting stuff away because I don't feel like dealing with this right now. And these stupid things, still don't understand these. I'm just going to sit here and take up inventory space. Oh, okay. So we get our uh, copper ore here. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm going to look at the collections thing again. Collections tab. Uh... I don't, I don't see it. Do I need to do something with it? The, I don't get it. I am pretty sure it said collections tab. Pretty sure it did. Beats the heck out of me, man. I do not know. Not on the map. Yeah. Oh, wallet. Magnifying glass. Okay. Alright, so I've got a magnifying glass here. Um, 
don't know what to do with it, but there you go. So, how do I use stuff in my wallet? So I could look at this. Yep, I guess I'll have to look it up. It's pretty annoying though. I'm pretty annoyed by that. Actually, I'm very annoyed by it. It's freaking annoying. Hey guys, what's up? Let's go ahead and get him some more hay. Oh, I still haven't given Pepper water. Oh, that's not what I meant to click on. How did I end up there? You pet, 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 pet. All right, I petted him. Let's make some mayonnaise. Let's um give Pepper some water. Hi, Pepper. Pet, pet, pet. Here's your water. Here's some pine tar. Oh, here's some... Uh, Refined quartz that I don't know what I'm going to do with. Um, let's grab the iron ore out of here. And um, the coal. And I'll grab this stuff here. Um, I'm not going adventuring today, so I'm going to put that back. I thought I had my pine tar somewhere. But I thought I already had some. Guess not, huh? Let's put it in here. I just, I just put, like I said, I, I don't feel like dealing with this crap right now. Uh, so we'll do that. And we may as well put these things to work, right? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let me see. Let's go south. And check on our baits, our, our crab pots, I guess. I feel a little scatterbrained, having a hard time keeping focused on one task. Alright, snail, garbage, snail, garbage. Bait. All right, there goes our bait. Now I'm gonna walk over here and let's pay a visit to to Willy. I hate that I can't go that way. Pay a visit to Willy and see if he has some tackle he'll sell us. I, I don't. I want tackle because I'm hoping it'll make it easier to do some fishing, but I haven't seen any tackle from him yet, and uh, I don't know how to get him to sell tackle. So we'll stop by there, see if he has decided to sell it. There's a crocus. I feel like I should just be walking around just whacking with the hoe every now and again. Since I know that uh, sometimes I get uh, cool stuff just from hitting the ground. Alright, Willie. What do you got, man? Let's go talk to him first. Hey, dude. How's it going? Mumble, mumble. Eh, I would tell you about my thoughts, but it's a fisherman's secret. Well, then why'd you bring it up? Trout soup, bait, crab pot, bamboo pole, fiberglass rod. That's all you're selling? I need more bait, though. I bought some bait. Hmm. Pretty annoyed. Let's sell these snails to him. Pretty annoyed that he's not having any uh, tackle. I guess I'll have to, I don't know, research that as well. See how the heck to get him to sell me tackle. Yeah, let's do a little bit of foraging since we're down here. It's money, right? Just let's just like pick it up money off the ground. Okay. Not a whole lot going on. Here's some worms. Winter roots. Well, if I was smart, I would have thought to bring the stuff that I wanted to bring to the museum, but I'm not smart. But we're going to go to the museum anyway. Because there's some books in there I want to check out. What's he doing? What are you doing there, buddy? How's it going? 
the saloon can get pretty lively at night. Yeah, sometimes we put the coin in the jukebox. That's what you're going to talk to me about? Yeah, okay, you already told me about this stuff. It's quiet out here. Not a lot going on. Hello, Gunther. Alright, where are these books? Up here? Wow, look at all the books. The secret of the star drop. For thousands of years, people have been intrigued by the mysterious powers of the star drop, but no one knows where they came from. Professor R.J. Cutler, a leading researcher on strange fruit, says this, We've discovered traces of genetic material on meteorites that closely resemble the star drop, but it's not a proven match. Regardless of where they come from, the peculiar fruit is said to be uncommonly delicious, and some even claim they grant special power to those who eat them. Uh, Journey of the Prairie King, the smash hit video game. Did you know anyone who beats Journey of the Prairie King is automatically entered into a drawing for a special prize? Did you know the developer has stated that the protagonist is based on a real-life character, a true cowboy hero from a prairie island in the Gem Sea. Okay. Here's another book. A study on diamond yields. After years of research in the mines, I believe I've learned something about diamond frequency. My research involved only the stones that are scattered about the mines, the ones that are broken with a pickaxe. Mineral yields from other sources require more research. Diamonds seem to only form at mine level 50 or greater. At level 50, approximately 1 in 500 stones will be diamond rich. After level 50, the frequency of diamond formation seems to increase by about 0.00016 per level. Quite a rare gem. M. Jasper. Brewmaster's Guide. Ah, to brew the rich smell of yeast wafting through a cedar loft the floral overtones of freshly cut hops on a winter's eve. But I digress. You are probably more interested in the practical side of brewing. To brew, you will need a keg. I'll leave it up to you to devise blueprints for a keg. Gee, thanks. Kegs can be used to make several kinds of product. If vegetables are placed inside, the keg will produce juice. Juice takes the least amount of time to brew. If wheat is placed in the keg, it will produce beer. Beer takes a while to brew, but it is quite profitable. Placing hops in a keg will produce the beloved pale ale. Place fruit in the keg to make wine. Wine takes the longest of all to make, but wine made from the finest fruit is worth quite a bit. Be patient with your keg. You'll know it's finished when it's perfectly still. And only drink in moderation or you'll surely regret it. Mysteries of the Dwarves. Dwarves? I just said Dwarves. The Dwarves call themselves Smolu, Smoluanu, which translates to Sky People. An odd name for a group that lives deep underground, isn't it? Another mystery of the Dwarves is the advanced technology they supposedly possess. Evidence such as this has led me, despite the ridicule of my colleagues, to propose a new theory. I believe the dwarves are the remnants of a once advanced civilization whose interplanetary vehicle crashed on this planet long ago. I wonder how come they ridicule him. I propose that this dwarvish, dwarvish spaceship bore down deep underground and over time the dwarves became adapted to their new underground environment. My colleagues ask why didn't they come above ground and live on the surface? Perhaps their old planet had a thicker atmosphere that protected them from stellar radiation and they simply could not survive in our sunlight. That would explain why they only surface at night to take what they need from our houses. Say what? What are you talking about, Jasper? And another book. Highlights from the book of Yoba. Before time, there was only the endless golden light. The light called out to itself. Yoba. Yoba wanted more. Yoba swirled the golden light into a vortex. Yoba swirled and swirled until a hole formed in the eye of the vortex. From this hole sprung a seed. Yoba smoothed the golden light. Yoba smoothed and smoothed, and the light became soil. In this soil, Yoba planted the seed. 
the seed sprouted, and behold, a vine sprung skyward, twisting and probing, casting a writhing shadow onto the golden void. After eleven days, the vine bore fruit. Yoba, with knowing wisdom, peeled the tough skin off the fruit and saw that the world was inside. And so that is how the world came to be. Wow, I honestly had a hard time keeping myself from yawning when I was reading that stuff. <laughs> and not that it was that boring, it's just that I'm tired. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's go back to our farm. And uh, I think they're, reading about kegs kind of reminded me that uh, there is some other stuff that we can do. We can, um, we can craft some stuff, like a recycler maybe. Actually, let's see. Do I have the materials to make something like a recycler? Recycling machine, wood, stone, and an iron bar. Yeah, we should be able to make that. So that would be kind of cool. We could recycle this crap we've got. I just yawned. Thank goodness for the mute button. I feel better. All right. Oh, worms. Come here, worms. You're buying. Rusty spur. Rusty Spur. Oh, that's an artifact. Okay. Another thing for Gunther. All right. Let's go up here and see if we have enough materials to make uh, this uh, recycler. But I remembered that I hadn't seen uh, Zertino yet today. Hey, Zertino. What's up? Still a baby. You're still a baby. How come I, I grab two haze? I guess, I guess I grab as many haze as there are animal in that facility, right? I don't know. Throw what I get here. Uh, put my iron ore up here. Put some more iron ore in here. Dump off this extra iron ore. Um. I can make some copper bars. Might as well, right? Okay. Recycling machine. We're gonna need wood and stone and a an iron bar. Recycling machine. I can make one. Awesome. I made a recycling machine. Check it out. And let's just put it right here. Just line all our machines up. Now let me grab all my crap that I've been holding on to for this very day. Trash, soggy newspaper, driftwood. Uh, let's see, what other trash do I have? It might be all. Oyster. Hmm. I'm wondering. Ooh, crystal fruit. And oyster. I think those are two things that um, are wanted at the community center. Let me see if I have any trash in my other things here. Not in there. Unless seaweed is trash. No, seaweed's not trash. How dare I think seaweed's trash. Uh, trash is trash. Broken glasses are trash. And... Let's see. Oh, there's another oyster there. Um, any other trash in here? You know I've never bothered to use this slingshot. Requires stones for ammo. I'm not going to be shooting my stones. I'm going to keep my stone, man. Any trash in here? Um, not that I see. All right, let's dump some stuff here in the old recycler. What is it? Recycle one thing at a time? Oh crap, it is. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I wonder how long it takes to recycle and if it's worth building another one of those. I don't know. Here's that. Is this a cheese maker that I put together without ever having a cow? Don't have a cow, man. <laughs> okay. Well. Um. Guess I'll just. I don't know, man. I put my. What other things can I make? Let's see what other things we can make. Anything interesting? Uh, fences. Boring. Another chest. A preserves jar. Charcoal kiln. I don't have a gold bar. Oil maker. Well, I'll need a gold bar for that also. Manning's machine, we've already got cheese press, I've got a keg. 
Hmm, oak resin. Oh. I need to make a tapper. Tapper. I made a tapper. And I need to find an oak tree. So I've got... Um, this is a maple tree here. This is a pine tree. So what does an oak tree look like? Oh, there's some garbage. What does it make? Stone? Alright. Gosh, I don't know if it's worth the trouble. But whatever. Alright, hold on a minute. I need to take a good look at what a... Okay, maple tree looks like that. Oh. So I need to find what I think is an oak tree. Put a tapper on it. Hopefully I haven't cut down all my oak trees. This is probably an oak tree right here. I bet you it is. I bet you this is an oak tree. Dropped an acorn. Oak trees drop acorns, right? What's up, Pepper? You trying to tell me something? Why can't I pet Pepper? Grandpa Shrine. What's up, Pepper? Can I pet Pepper? I could water Pepper. Huh, I can't seem to pet Pepper. Pepper's being weird. Stop being weird, Pepper. Nobody likes a weird dog. I'm just kidding. Weird dogs are awesome. Um, well, what else can I try to make? Like the, what was it that I was going to make here? I can't make a loom because I don't have any fiber. Oh, no, I do have fiber. Turns raw wool into fine cloth. Well, there's no reason in me making that. This bee house I've got up here sure does take its time making honey. You need to snap to it, bee house. You're taking your time. Oh, I thought I had another egg, but I guess I don't. Here's another stone. Try not to get too excited about it. And, um, <laughs> just kind of like running around here. What else can I craft? Anything fun? Tapper, lightning rod. I can make a lightning rod. I don't really need one right now, though. Gravel path. Oh, that's just decor. Cherry bomb, wood path, field snack, quality sprinkler. Uh, transmute. A bar of pure iron. Do what now? I can turn three copper bars into a bar of pure iron? Is that what that's telling me? Really? Huh. Well, I don't want to do that, though. I want to hang on to my copper, I think. Uh, a staircase and a bunch of seeds that apparently I, I know how to make. Some speed grow. Campfire, warrior ring. Occasionally infuses the wearer with warrior energy after slaying a monster. Sturdy ring. We know how to make crab pots. Life elixir restores health to full. We can make bait with bug meat, but I never seem to kill those bugs anymore. I never see them anymore. And then we have this warp totem if we ever wanted to warp to the beach. Uh, unfortunately, oh man, if I had one more coral, I've been selling all my stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't think I have any coral laying around. Pretty sure I don't. No, I don't. I was actually considering making a warp totem um, just to get to the beach quicker because I'm going to want to go to the beach after dark to do some squid fishing, I do believe. I think that's what I want to do. Um, yeah. So in the meantime, I'm going to drop this off and... I'm going to drop off our uh, stone and what else did I want to drop off? I guess the bait and the coal and I got all this garbage on hand now. I, I don't need it now that I know I can only drop some of it off at a time. And I forgot to put my wood away. How embarrassing. I forgot to put my wood away. Rusty spur. All right, I'm gonna drop that off. Did I have another artifact that I wanted to bring to Gunther? For some reason I thought there was another one. I must have dropped it off already. 
Again, I'll have to go to my inventory at some point. Alright. Oh, trash. So I think it's, um, two pieces of trash. Yeah. Creates a stone. Or maybe just one piece. Okay. Drop that in there. Nope, I don't want to sell my iron bars. The rest of the stuff I could sell, except for the things I want to bring to the uh, community center. So, sell, sell. Uh, I'm going to hang on to the coral because I might want to use it to make something. We'll drop that in there. I'm going to drop these in there. I don't know what to do with those. Okay. All right. Let's swing by the community center. And then by then it'll be nighttime. We'll go to the beach. We'll see if we can't catch ourselves a freaking squid. Sounds like a plan. many people out and about this time of night. Okay. Um, so I've got a crystal fruit and an oyster. I think this is where the crystal fruit is going to go. So we're going to complete one of our bundles here, which is pretty exciting. Yay, bundle complete. Cha-cha-cha. What do we get? Give me something good. Yeah, winter seeds. All right, great. Seeds, just what I wanted. <laughs> I was really enjoying not having to um, water anything. And then this other thing I think goes in the fish tank. Yeah, see? Plop. Yeah, man. If I could find a periwinkle, or a shrimp, or a lobster, or a crab. Well, a clam. I mean, come on. Now I'm not finding any clams. They used to be all over the freaking place. That's okay. Plenty of time for that. Alright, well, I think it's considered nighttime now. So let's go to the beach and uh, see if we can't catch ourselves a squid. Let's check out this uh, quest here. I need red snapper. Well, I ain't got no red snapper. At least I don't think I do. I may have caught one at some point, but I forgot about it. So to the beach we go. And I will go ahead and plant these seeds. Not today though, we'll plant them tomorrow. All right, here's the beach. Here we go. Let the fun begin. Oh, that's not fun. At least we didn't waste any time waiting to catch that seaweed. Oh my gosh, fish. Oh jeepers creepers. How am I ever supposed to catch a fish like this? Oh, you stupid fish. <laughs> Damn it. I'm pretty sure that's a squid. I just bet you it is. Don't fall asleep, dude. Oh, yay. Man, we need to clean our oceans. This is ridiculous. Okay, we got a hit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we got him. A herring. Okay, I don't know if I've caught a herring before, and... Don't think herring is one of the fish needed for a, one of our bundles, so that's a little disappointing. I like these fast hits, man. Oh, did you see that move? 
Hold still, fishy. Hold still, I say. Hold still, I say. Oh. I got him. Oh, it's an albacore. I don't want an albacore. I want a freaking squid. Do I ask too much? Do I ask too much to catch a squid? Okay. Oh. Oh. Come on to you, fish. Oh. Oh. Damn it. Yeah, got him. Oh, another stupid albacore. <laughs> albacore is not even one of the night fish that I need for the bundle. Hopefully albacores are worth something. Oh, look at this fish taking off. I wonder if, like, like a squid will look like a squid in here instead of a fish. Probably not. Yeah. Oh, doggone it, you stupid albacores. <laughs> I don't want no albacore. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Oh, man, I nailed that one. <gasps> A halibut. Ooh. Well, halibut is also not one of the fish I need. Well, we got a nice little variety of fish that time. Let's go ahead and head on home. Oh, hey. Hey, Willie. Wait, but, hey, jerk. <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> all right. He's going to act all stuck up and act like he doesn't know us. Well, something just jumped in there. And there it shall remain. Well, you know, we got some ore... We made a recycling machine. We caught some fish. Hi. I'm having a hard time finding fresh food to eat. Oh no. I've been eating a lot of bread. Leia. Here. Have a have a albacore. Here. Hmm. I guess everyone is taste. Well, you know what? Screw you. You just said you wanted fresh food. I gave you fish straight from the freaking ocean. Oh man, I don't have my bait with me. I don't want to go check my crab pots if I don't have my bait with me. I wish I could put a chest down here and just fill it with bait. <laughs> okay. Too bad we... I'm going to keep these fish and I'm going to sell them to Willy. That's my plan. What in the world did we just get? We got a torch? Okay. Thanks for three torches. Here, take that. Take a CD. See what we make. We get from a CD. Oh gosh, it's freaking 1:50 a.m. Man, I'm not gonna make it into bed. Dang, gone it. <sighs> All right. Okay. Well, maybe something exciting will happen. Made some money. And day five of winter. What does it bring us? Well, doesn't look like I lost any money. All right. Did lose a lot of energy, though, but we'll take care of that. We'll do that in the next episode. Time for me to end this one. Thanks for joining me again, you guys. Appreciate it. Hope you had fun. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. I'm going to go online and look at how to get a tackle and also how the heck to read those secret notes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that because by the time you hear me say, how the heck do I do this, I will be way ahead. I'm trying to um, record a bunch of episodes in advance because uh, baseball playoffs are starting next week and I love watching the baseball playoffs so I'll be watching those instead of playing games. So I need to store up a bunch of episodes so I have stuff to post while I'm watching baseball. So anyway, just letting you know. Uh, you can go ahead and tell me in the comments if you want to how to get uh, or how to read those things and how to um, get the tackle. Maybe somebody watching this may want to know. So. As always, thanks for watching. Hope that I see you guys again in the next episode.